Abnormal Bowel Patterns 101, brought to you by Kinsley, Heather, Bahar, Allison, and Christina. Before we get started on our objective, which is describing and identifying abnormal gas patterns on the ab abdominal plane film x-ray, we want to do a quick review of radiology. So an x-ray film starts out white and transparent and gets darkened by the x-ray beams. Attenuation is basically the denser the tissue, the more that gets absorbed. And density varies from the different body tissues. Radiolucency is a structure that produces more blackening on the film, such as gas and air. And radioopacity would be a structure that produces less blackening on the film, such as bone and metal. This slide is just showing radiolucency versus radioopacity. You can see with lucency, the final film is darker. And the final film with radioopacity is a lot brighter and more white. Now let's go through some examples. What would be an example of black on an x-ray film? Right, gas and air. What would be an example of gray-black on an x-ray film? Fat. An example of just gray would be water and fluid. An example of white would be bone. And lastly, what would an example of bright white on an x-ray film be? Metal. So now let's move on to our actual objective. What is bowel gas? Bowel gas is defined as, nor as a normal result of normal gut function. And there's to two reasons for bowel gas to occur. The number one reason being swallowed air, also known as aerophagia. And the causes of this are eating or drinking rapidly, chewing gum, smoking, or wearing loose dentures. The second reason being normal digestion of certain foods. So the most offending foods would be fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains due to their high fiber. The least offensive would be proteins and fats. Some of the causes of bowel gas um, that we'll go over in more detail as we go on, obstructive ileus, non-obstructive ileus, calcifications, gas bloat syndrome, Megan Blaze syndrome, constipation, and extraluminal gas. So in this photo, it shows obstructive ileus. The yellow arrows represent multiple air fluid levels in a patient with an obstructed ileus. And the red curved arrows identify the small intestine's diameter. And we can see from the red arrows that there is less air in the large intestine, causing dilation of the small intestine. This photo is showing a non-obstructive ileus. You can see that the red arrows indicate a dilated colon, and the blue arrows indicate the small intestine. Notice that both small and large intestine are dilated, with gas extending all the way to the rectum. This photo is showing calcifications. The yellow arrows in the picture on the left indicate air fluid levels in a patient with an inflammatory process. In the picture on the right, the black arrows display, or the black arrows are pointing to two oval shaped calcifications consistent with fecaliths of the appendix. Megan Blaze syndrome is characterized by severe air swallowing and an enlarged bubble of gas in the stomach following heavy meals, causing chronic belching. The black arrows indicate the gas in the stomach. Gas bullet syndrome can occur after surgery to correct GERD. This surgery creates, creates a one-way valve between the esophagus and the stomach that allows food and gas to enter the stomach, but it often prevents normal belching and the ability to vomit. The black arrow displays the narrowing of the esophagus, and the white arrow shows the filling effect, the filling defect after a fund application. This image shows fecal matter in the distal colon, indicating that this patient is in fact constipated, and there's extra luminal gas in all of the surrounding areas. The picture on the right, you can actually see the bubble-like areas of darker bowel gas throughout the colon, right here. Now that we've seen a few x-ray images, let's talk about some symptoms of abnormal bowel gas. So these symptoms include extreme flatulence, colic pain, abdominal bloating, constipation, burping, as well as sharp, jabbing abdominal pains. So how would one treat bowel gas? We would start with a diet. You would tell the patient to cut out fruits and vegetables. And this is not appropriate treatment because we all know that fruits and vegetables are necessary for an essential healthy diet. So instead, the person should try to figure out the most offending foods and avoid them. And then moving on to medications, a patient could try Beano over the counter. And if the patient is found to be lactose intolerant, uh, we can tell them to avoid lactose products to reduce their gas or take medication to reduce the GI effects. 
Prescription medications to treat irritable bowel syndrome can also be used. And if it's caused by an obstruction, then the obstruction needs to be resolved. Thank you for listening to our bowel gas presentation.